Okay, so I've run out of time and battery to continue today, so I'll show you what I've got done so far. So um, I've made these, I cut down to size these two uh, strips of aluminium to go down the sides and there's going to be uh, one more at each end and then I'll do the same on the bottom as well. And then I've gone and marked out um, where I want all the holes to be um, along the uh, strip, so you can see there's one of those markings. And then what that looks like is this. Now you notice the spacing might seem a little bit odd at first. Um, essentially what it is, is I've uh, measured it out at, uh, I basically divided up the entire length. Um, and then it, that effectively came to 13.5 millimeters, sorry, 13.5 centimeters um, for the main gap. Uh, which goes along there. Now you see I've skipped one here because of uh, the hole, so I'll probably end up doing the half ones here. You can see I've done the half ones to get close here, but I'm not going to send a screw down there. Now something that's quite important to note here is that uh, the aluminium would be quite tolerant, however the perspex would not be tolerant of doing a tight hole. So I need a tight hole for uh, the screw to go into the wood, I need a loose hole for the perspex and just for the sake of convenience and comfort I've done a loose hole for the aluminium as well. So that means that I've got two different uh, uh, drill bits. So you can see here, here are the two different drill bits. So this one does the tight hole, this one does the loose hole. Let's have a quick closer look at those. Uh, we have these two different uh, drill bits here. And if we go and put those beside the screw, you'll see that, whoops, I knocked the camera. You'll see I knocked the camera. Uh, so you'll see here we've got these two different uh, sizes and you can see that the small one is thinner than the thread. It's actually uh, borderline too big but it's actually quite a, it's quite comfortable. Everything's going in nice and tightly without me having to actually, uh, without me having to screw hard uh, which is quite important because if you have to screw hard then you'll sooner or later dethread the wood and um, then that's not so good. And then if we go to here you'll see this is really loose. However, it's still quite a bit smaller than the head. Um, so that means that I've got a fair bit of wiggle room to play with when doing everything up if I have any inaccuracies. Notice here that I've, um, this is quite messy at the moment. Um, if I was doing this professionally, I would definitely clean it up uh, before the end. However, I actually really like this look, and so it may well be that I actually leave it like that, or somewhere fairly close to it. Uh, we'll see. I'll see how I feel uh, towards the end of the project. Um, and then I've got these here. This is a bath mat, and the idea is that that will go in between the perspex and the wood, and that will help uh, give it a... Uh, a better... a better seal, so there's less air leak. Um, I'm going to see how well the thing works with and without it, um, because if I can actually keep enough pressure without it, I actually look. I prefer the look of it without it more. But um, uh, yeah, if if I'm not getting enough pressure, then I'll definitely put it in. Yeah. So hopefully next week I'll be showing you putting in the uh, pump and applying some pressure to it and doing some tests to see how, whether I'm getting sufficient pressure in there or not. Um, but yeah, this is all coming along rather nicely. Uh, it's always slower than desired, but it's coming on ni along nicely. As always, uh, check out funnyhacks.com where I've got more photos and all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, yeah, feel free to ask questions and I shall try and answer them.